Oh, welcome back, gang. Gate uh, of Hell Deliverance. I took the wrong turn. I need to suss out. As I mentioned, end of last episode. So, let's find the bridge, get across, head on over there. Do some sales at the merchants. Let's way out of town. Let's do it. Alright. Catch you if something exciting happens or along the way. Or when I get there. Hello, gang. So. Ah, I managed to get rid of all the extra stuff I was packing around. I was sent back about 6,000 groschen, and the town of Sao Sao, Sao Sao is basically broke. Because I made up with all the money. Good stuff. Let's hit the monastery. to talk to. Hmm, I think he's saying there's someone to talk to. Excuse me, Padre. Brother Porter. You wouldn't know about a brawl with a monk. Oh, Lord. You wouldn't happen to know about a brawl that happened here not long ago. Apparently it involved two carpenters who were being treated here. And they were fighting with a monk? I don't have a clue. Um... Can I take a look inside the monastery? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Order of St. Benedict. No others shall pass. Y'all are boring. I've been sent here from Talmberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. That'll be the master builder. Or with our brother, the overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has to do with the stone for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. He studies right above us, more or less. Go up the steps to the left and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. Thank you. So I can go inside it now? No. Okay. Explored. Hmm. He's in the tower. How do I get there? Alright, I can't go inside. Well, let's go up and around. I hope they leave soon. Look, we're doing the best we can, and this kind of attitude isn't helping. I bid you good day. Johanka? Uh, Henry? Hey! Glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Well, that depends. You're alive. What is he? So you're doing well. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes? Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. You wouldn't happen to know what Fritz and Matthew did here, would you? Don't even talk to me about that. They weren't badly injured compared to most of the others here. And after lying in bed for a while, they got bored. So they started drinking. I'm trying to help people in dire need, and the two of them are drinking with that cretin, Elias. They always have been thoughtless, but at least they were punished for it. Who is this Elias, anyway? One of the ordinal monks who helps out here. He was the one who brought the booze. All three of them got friendly pretty fast. You know what they say about birds of a feather. 
And do you know what got between them? I don't have a clue. One minute they're the best friends in the world, and then a lot of yelling and furniture flying around. They threw Fritz and Matthew out straight afterwards. What kind of person is this Elias? Mm, a timid kind of fellow. And why is he being so hard on Fritz and Matthew? They're drowning in debt because of him, and it seems all they had was a small fight. I don't know. He was the one who wanted to befriend them in the first place. I don't believe it's because of any property damage they did. It's got more to do with wounded pride. Thank you. That's all I need. <sighs> Oh. I'm going to regret this. Um, can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Rat Eye unconscious, and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying. Usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Yeah. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well... Go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. <laughs> Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, sorry, I had to clip out and back in. I had a spot of lunch. So all the scar tissue's aggravated up again, making a mess. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep, but I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. I'm going to break the law. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that, out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Why have pokey sticks? Hmm. All right, looks Very like well. this is what we're doing. I, I get to his lordship momentarily. Right. That's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohoslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. All right. Oh, what I saved. Perfect. Okay. He just needs to sleep. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you making such a fuss about? A are fuss? you serious? Hey, because of my leg, it. I have to I'll stay here for you. at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I, I can't get any sleep. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it quickly.
Everything here is fine. Let's get that game meat and talk to somebody first. Wait a minute, my thing's changed. Overseer, hey, you're out of your office. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Beautiful. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it, or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role, but I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well? Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. That's legit enough. All right, so. Get a hundred meat? Talk to the master builder. All right. He's that way. I am at your service, Sir Knight. Nice axe. The overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> Like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? Because of the Talmberg stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there should be consequences. I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> but I'm guessing the Overseer likes the idea of cheaper stone, right? And have you noticed anything else going on? Of course. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being done fast enough. <laughs> so it's just like any other building work? Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen. And then there's all these rumors going round. I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. Who's been stealing? Which men from the monastery go to visit women? <laughs> how the work's going? Normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the normal run of things. Curse? And then there's that devil's skull they dug up. You talked about the devil's skull? I did. They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so I don't know. And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you something. Who's stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumors, everyone from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest laborer. It's like with whores and dice. There's no protection against slander. And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone 
There wouldn't be any left if every man here started helping himself, would there? Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. Now, what was it I wanted? Thank you. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumors spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon's skull. Here, on holy ground, in the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognize a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil, besides. The thing gave off a diabolical stink. You found a decomposing goat's head? And where is it now? What do you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only, I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. Alright, and see. See? The clues are I see blood. This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it. Now what? Now oh, I gotta take the faulty storm all the way back to the quarry. Okay, that's happening later. Yes. And who are you? Brother Elias. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scalots locals as much as I can. How long have you been helping here? Since before the refugees arrived. It was much less crowded back then. And what do you do here, exactly? Mainly, I help Brother Nicodemus. Occasionally, I keep watch at night in case... someone takes a turn for the worse. Sometimes I have to hold the patient down, or fetch and carry things. Do you know anything about healing? A little. I can manage the basics, but without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Thank you. I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. So it was you they fought with? Yes, it was me. And I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt? How are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. Two up, four up, eight up.
How much do they owe? A lot. That doesn't answer my question. A hundred. Well, well, look at you. Get snippy. I'll give you that limp. What the hell are you doing? Not killing you. Okay, A's all the way down there with them. Good. I was gonna find the skull and maybe do some hunting. Space. Let's go find it. All right, I've searched this hill like three, four times. It's a skull. It rolled. It rolls. Already found a moonshine. shine. There we go. It looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. Found it. Now what? Knacker? <laughs> hey, boy. and deer everywhere. Here, a sign of movement. You know, probably don't need to watch, watch me go through all sorts of hunting. Cows dropping in. Drop the cows! Dranka! I brought some meat. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Rich food will definitely help. Let's go get the custody and talk. Uh, got it on my list. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I'm helping at the infirmary now, and I came to our... Ah, and how is Johanka? Do you know her well? Yes, I do. Good, good. Does she ever talk about me? 
Sometimes. A little. That's good. Excellent. Your hunker means a lot to me. <coughs> I'm mainly here for supplies and to talk about the state of the wounded from Scallops. They need blankets, food. Well, that's not my problem. Let the infirmarias take care of it. His hands are tied. Until the abbot comes back, he can't get anything. And why should that interest me? Ooh, he has got me outdone on everything. Um, dang. Maybe because of your hanker. Hmm. What precisely are you getting at? Well, something could happen to her, too, someday. If any ill befalls my dear your hunker, she won't be left lying on some grubby floor. I'll personally see to it she's taken care of. Piece of trash. Because I'll pay you. For supplies? But of course. That will be... Oh, come off it. You get your supplies from the monastery for free. No one will bat an eyelid if you ask for more. Blankets can get chewed up by mice. Food can go off. Hundred fifty, sure, why not? Yes. These things happen, certainly. And as long as the monastery needs my protection, they'll have to put up with it. I wanna kill him. Don't run into me. Be a bit more careful. I'm standing here. I want to kill and rob this man. Maybe I'll do that sometime. Being like being a bad, being bad in the middle of the night. I do need more lockpick practice. Much more lockpick practice. Tell me more about the situation here. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you like. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. <laughs> it won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. All right, that's all I need to know. So who the heck do I tell about the supplies? Uh, Alright, where's my quest set? Let's do what I do best. Right over we get the skull taken care of. Woohoo! New perk point in horsemanship! I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I found this skull. People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I don't know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. 
Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil. Just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. Take skull of a macker. Scaffolder if you put the skull there himself. Alright, let's go back and interview the gentleman. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. The skull is a fake. Someone fixed horns on a human skull. But where would they get a human skull? And why would they do it? Maybe to frighten the workers? Raise the price? But that wouldn't help anyone. It had to be some idiot's idea of a prank. An idiot who was nearly responsible for getting a man killed. There he is. Have you seen Leszek, the scaffolder? I saw him. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about the head he dug up. Really? That's interesting. Why? He asked me to meet him on the scaffolding tonight, so he can tell me something important. Said he wanted to confess something. So he did have something to do with the skull? I knew it. Maybe. But I'd wager someone made him do it. He doesn't seem the type to come up with something like that on his own. I'm planning to go and meet him. Will you come with me? It will be safer with the two of us. I'll go. Very well. We'll meet at night. If I'm not down at the bottom, then look for me at the top. All right. All right. All right, there we go. What time is it? It is night time, okay. We go. Now he's done tried to kill me. All right, douche canoe, I'm coming for you. Give my debts. I, I didn't want to, but he forced me to do it. Who sent you? It, it was the master builder's helper, young Smola. What? He was supposed to be here as well. He isn't. He went to the mill nearby when he found out Leshek was hiding out there. Fuck. What am I supposed to do with you? You tried to kill me. I was aiming to miss, on purpose. I wanted to scare you off and, and then say I missed. D don't kill me, please. Get off my sight. I don't want to see you here again. Thank you. All right. I'm tempted to say in the episode right there, but you know what? Bugger it. Let's go get him.
What the hell are you doing? That's Leszek, isn't it? Yes, it's him. I found him. And now I'm taking him to the Sawbones. Oh. Well, I know a bit about healing. Put him down here and I'll take a look at him. All right. He's as heavy as an ox anyway. Confined oh. space. You. Squash you like the louse you are! Yo! Why am I having such trouble? Are getting caught up on the ceiling or something? If I hit block, would you please block? Jesus. Come on, get out of here where I can fight you. All right, gang, something's coming up, so I figure what the heck. See if I can't find. Henry, I'm glad you came. There's a horse sitting here. Stole off the Cummins. You're just sitting here. What you doing just sitting here? It's all the stuff from my other inventory. back over here. See how long the game remembers you. See how I can't come back for you at some point. Got a little more time. The blacksmith is a princess are heading into town. So I'll just cross over. 
This should be the stonecutter's camp. Alright, there they are. Let's find Rupert. Rupert! I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Here's the cursed stone that caused so much damage. It's old and weathered. But this isn't my stone. What? Well, this stone isn't from my quarry. See the grain? That's not from the weathering. The stone is from somewhere else. Did you send the last delivery of stone in smaller pieces? No. Why would we do that? We always deliver it in big blocks. It's easier for us. Well, that's odd. Mm. They told me they were glad you got them smaller pieces, so they had less work to dress it. But that's not possible. It seems the stone you sent never arrived, and they got this instead. Unthinkable. I delivered the last shipment myself because I wanted to exchange a few words with them, and nothing happened along the way. Then someone must have replaced them on site. But what would the builders have out of it? To replace it, and then say we sent it? I don't think the builders know what happened. Most likely, it's someone else who has their fingers in this. A thief? Sir Divish mentioned you've been having one or two problems. Well, he's not wrong. Thanks to these rumours going around, my stone blocks are just sitting here. Or lying. What happened with the stone? A piece broke off one and fell on someone. And they blame it on the quality of the stone. Ha! I bet they were too drunk to see straight. And isn't it possible that... It's not. I sent them the best stone. It will be a sin to cut corners to try and make money from the house of God. I'm sorry you have so many worries. I hope it all ends well. It'll end, one way or the other. It reeks of profiteering. And politics. All right, so... Probably I just want to ride back. Didn't take long. It's early. I'd like to wrap this up. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll turn the camera back on. Jesus Christ be praised. I looked around, and the stone that fell on that man is different from the rest. Yes, it's very poor. But we have to work with what we've got. We didn't have anything else, and we couldn't wait for more. That's not what I meant. It's not the same kind of stone that came from Talmberg. Someone must have switched it. But why would anyone do that? Well, maybe he was stealing new stone and replacing it with old stuff. Or to sabotage the construction, I don't know. But the carriage never moved. It rained a lot and we couldn't get any work done, or we'd have been up to our ankles in mud. So, someone had to take it out without being seen? That huge piece of rock! It would take a few strong men to shift something that size. I know you're trying to help, but someone would have noticed. It couldn't be done without anyone seeing it. Your apprentice is behind it all, Master Builder. What? Leshek told me the skull was Zmola's idea, and he was responsible for the bad stone, too, and even worse things. Good God! Why would the lad do that? I always took good care of him, and... Jesus Christ! Well, he's dead now. I took care of him. No worries, find a new apprentice. Alright, I'm gonna run up here, make a couple quick conversations, and then ride back. What happened to Philip? Philip? He's unconscious. He's shivering and he has a fever. Ah, I didn't know that. When he first came here, he was fine. No wounds on him. He was escorting the others. 
Then he got worse and worse until he lost consciousness entirely. Ask Johanka. Maybe she'll know more. Let's find her. What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him. And now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. Ooh. If he got poisoned. But what can we do? Us. Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scalitz years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. One of the sick men, Semek, is complaining about pain and the fact he can't work. He says he... Semek? Is he one of our people? No, he's a construction worker. He's bruised and confined to... Henry, for God's sake, our neighbors are dying here. Your friends. There isn't time to waste on some construction workers' bruises. Oh, honestly, what were you thinking? Listen, all I need to find out is the name of a herb. Then go and look it up in a book. You've got your own herbarium, haven't you? Not What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Okay. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Well, fine. Try it then. Seriously? Hey, look out! Loud! I'm standing here. Oh, good lord. <clears throat> Cutscene? Are you holding him firmly? Aye. No, pass out. Done. Are you serious? All right. I'll take a minute to read the writing. All right, gang. Let's bring an end to today's quest. news so the source of the problem was inside the monastery there was nothing more to it and the construction will continue the master builders helper was to blame for everything with him out of the way the work will run smoothly again that's good you've accomplished your task admirably Henry and I should reward you for it thank you sir Divis reach a new level on main level a new level on strength with a point available that's what I'm talking about. Alright gang, I'm going to take care of that right quick. Leave me your thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions down below. Hit the like and dislike, subscribe if you haven't already. But remember, 
there's something out there important to you, something that matters. Whether it's up and out face to face with other people, or from behind the safety of your terminal, get involved and make a difference. But take care and stay safe. I am the Articulate Grunt, and I'll catch you later, because I'm out from here. Bye.